everybody! So today I've got my Ulta 21 Days of Christmas haul. I spent too much. I, um, I wish there had been a way where, you know, you could clump it all together and just do one big for like, for Platinums where you could do one sale and I don't know, maybe you're limited to only one or two of each item. That way you can't buy them all out. But like two weeks of expecting a package every single day. That was just crazy. So I've got two boxes here. I've got one of them split up. This box is completely full. This is so ridiculous of freebies, gift with purchases, samples, all of that. And then this one actually has all of the stuff I bought. I'm going to tear through these gift with purchases and stuff real quick. Um, I originally wrote down like what came with what, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that to you guys. So I got, um, let's see, I got a, uh, Too Faced Hangover RX sample and a Smashbox photo finish sample with one. I got another Smashbox photo finish sample, you know, because I don't have enough of those. I got, I received an Amazing Cosmetics face primer sample along with a Murad the Invisa Shield Invisiblur Invisiblur Shield primer thing. Then I got I got a an It Cosmetics CC cream sample that I already used up. I received a set of Hask macadamia oil shampoo and conditioner like the set which I've already used. I got a Murad Essential C Day Moisture and a Perfume I Can't Pronounce sample. A Wella Pearl Styler hair gel sample and an Honest Beauty primer sample. A Privage Anti-Aging Day Serum sample and another Smashbox Photo Finish sample, another Wella Gel sample, another Wella Gel sample, a Clinique Sunkissed Face Gelée sample, a Living Proof Fresh Cut Split End Mender sample. I think those are all the foil samples. Okay, and then I received one. Two, three, four of the It's a 10 Miracle Moisture Shampoo Sulfate Freeze. I received one of the Living Proof Timeless Pre Shampoo. Still in the package, so I can't zoom into that, sorry. And then I got one, two, three, four, five of the Matrix Total Results Color Obsessed Shampoo and Conditioner Duo. So that means I did, let me count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 10 total transactions. Crazy. I know. I'm aware. And then one trip in store because what I wanted was one of the Ulta items and you didn't get free shipping if all you were getting was were the today's steals or whatever. It was just the on the prestige stuff and then you could get the Ulta steals but you couldn't just get the Ulta steals. So I got a pack of the Skin Iceland Glacial Cleansing Towelettes. Haven't tried those yet. I got, this was the what I had, had went into store to pick up, was the Ulta ex Smooth Exfoliating body, body Scrub in Coconut and Almond Milk. This was normally $20, $19.99, and I got it for $7. And then I had a coupon of some sorts. That was the same day that I picked up two two packs of Real Techniques Beauty Sponges. I picked up an Ulta concealer brush when the concealer brushes were on, or when the brushes were on sale. I don't absolutely love this one. I find it kind of pokey, but 
I'll keep trying to figure out how to use it. I picked up the crease brush. I haven't had a chance to use that one yet. I picked up, let me see if I can get this out of the box, the Tarte uh, Lights Camera Lashes Liner. I haven't had a chance to play with this yet because I've got other liners I'm using right now. But that's what it looks like. That one I got, basically everything I got was at least 50% off, if not more. I picked up the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Foundation, powder foundation in medium. I've been using this and I freaking love it. It's awesome. I picked up, let's see, the Honest Beauty Magic Balm, which I wasn't originally going to pick this up. That's what it looks like. It's just like a clear balm, basically. But because my allergies get so bad, uh, I get really, really dry around the nose. And that was one of the things that it recommend doing was using this before you put on foundation and it helped get rid of that dry flakiness. It works. I don't know if it works amazingly because I haven't really, I've only had one ish, like one bout of dryness, I guess you'd call it. So I don't know for a fact if it works all the time, but I'm gonna keep trying it out because I got it on sale and I figured, why not if I can try it out for cheaper? I got one of the Mally Shadow Stick Extras. This one is the one in Autumn Shimmer. It's dirty already. Let me wipe that off. It's just, it's a pinky shimmery shade. It's really pretty. I like it. I, I don't know. I don't know if they're worth the 20 four dollars or whatever but then this was one of my favorite days was when the urban decay blushes went on sale i picked up oh i grabbed the wrong one is it not in here okay well i don't have one to show with you i grabbed the one i already had which was fetish this is like one of my absolute favorite blushes that i own i also picked up video which is this super gorgeous nude shade and then I picked up Rapture, which is this gorgeous purpley color. It's so pretty. It's going to be a great shade for winter. Then I got the Ulta Illuminating Powder in Yellow Diamond. I already own the pink one and I love it. So I grabbed that one up when highlighters were on sale. I also got the Lorac Starlight Highlight. This one's so weird, like the way that it opens, because that's how tiny the lid is. But that's what that looks like. It is, oh, it's so freaking smooth. It's gorgeous. Like, it's so pigmented. Like, it's just, it's gorgeous. My lighting's not doing it justice. It's beautiful. Then, let's see, I only have a couple more things. This was a lot of stuff, but I'm trying to blaze through it because I know not everybody loves the like 30 minute videos. I got two uh, Ulta body sprays. This one's the Sweet Fantasy, which was the vanilla and caramel. And then I got an Endless Passion, which is coconut and guava. When I got these, I had a $5 off of $10 worth of Ulta beauty items. So they were $5 each. So I basically got them buy one, get one free at $5 a piece when they're normally $11.50 or $12.50, so that was a great deal. And then I got a full size of the eyeliner I've been loving, which is the It Cosmetics No Tug. It looks like this. It's, like, I love it. It's awesome. Um, the full size, I just figured that out, has like the little sharpener on it, which is awesome. I didn't realize that until just now, but it's a twist up and it's just, it's awesome. It does look like gel liner on your top lid. It's an amazing liner. And then the last thing I got is definitely my favorite. It's the Stila Perfect Me Perfect Hue Eye and Cheek Palette. I got it in medium to tan. I'm definitely not medium to tan, but I loved the shade selection in this. How freaking gorgeous is that? 
Both of these blush colors are amazing. This shade right here, which is called Daring, is like... Oh my god, you can't tell. Maybe. It's so pretty. Like this, this was like the favorite of between this and the Urban Decay blush that I can't show you because I forgot it because I've been using it even though I put all this stuff away so that I didn't lose any of it so I could show it all to you. These two were like the ultimate and this one is normally, I can't believe that it's this expensive though. This one's normally a $40 palette and it's like, it's little. So, but I got it for $19.50 and it's definitely worth $19.50. If you love the, um, the formulation of Stila shadows and blushes, $40 might be worth it to you because Stila uh, palettes are a little bit more on the expensive side. But if you could get this one on sale, I would definitely recommend it. And look at that. It's got like a cheetah print on the front and it's just like everything about this palette is amazing. It's got the giant mirror like it's just this one's so good there's nothing that I bought so far that I've tried that I regret purchasing for that sale maybe other than the concealer brush but I haven't tried it with cream shadows yet so I might like it for that or ColourPop shadows so I'm gonna try that first before I cut my loss with that one but other than that I'm in love with everything that I've tried so far and I'm really, really happy that they do free shipping for Platinum members. And I'm this brought me to where I'm only $50 away from renewing my Platinum for next year. And the Lorac Pro 3 palette comes out on the 2nd, which is Saturday, Sunday, this weekend. And I will be purchasing that. So I will hit Platinum again for this next year. And so I will continue to get free shipping for the next two 21 days of beauty. And um, yeah, again, I spent way too much, but this one's only a 13 minute haul. So the rest of my hauling that I did this month, that will not be a 40 minute video. So I, I figured you guys would like it if I split it up into two videos. So if you guys bought anything from the Ulta sale, post it down below. Post about anything that I didn't get that I should have because there were some things that I hadn't tried that I wasn't sure if it was something I should pick up. And so post it down below because sometimes they put the same things on sale like for other, like other ones. Like the one that's next spring, they might put some of the same items on sale. So if it's something that I missed out on, I want to be able to try them. So, um, and then if you have any other recommendations or any other things that I should be trying or that I should be using, link those things down below, link your channels, just link all the stuff down below that you think I'd like. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.